Hello, this is my take on fried cabbage. Uh, what you need is you need a large pot. Uh, I know that um, for fried cabbage you typically see um, uh, frying pans. I need room to maneuver. Uh, you need a large pot with a corresponding lid. Okay. You need the following ingredients. Um, you need a quarter of a head of cabbage. You need a half of a red bell pepper. You need two large carrots. You need one large onion or two medium or small sized onions. Um, spinach that's been uh, washed and drained. Uh, salt, oregano, cayenne pepper. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of wasabi sauce, believe it or not. Um, hoisin sauce. Uh, you could put oyster sauce instead. And some olive oil. And what you don't see here, I'm also going to put a dash of uh, sesame oil at the very end for some taste. So basically this is going to be a fried cabbage uh, that's going to be made in a large pot uh, because I, I don't like the frying pan is too small. I need room to stir. Uh, and what's going to happen is I'm going to put, the, put some olive oil in the bottom of the um, pot. I'm going to cut up the quarter head of lettuce. Uh, I'm sorry, the quarter head of, of cabbage. Did I say lettuce? I mean cabbage, of course. I'm going to dice everything up. The cabbage is going to go in. The red pepper is going to go in. The carrots are going to go in. Uh, after about 10 minutes of sweating under a medium heat, the onions will go in uh, and then the um, spinach will go in. The spinach, this, stu this stuff gets very uh, soft very fast, so it's delicate. So you want to put it in the tail end. Uh, and then I'm also going to put some hoisin sauce, a little bit of wasabi. Um, and um, that will be it. Total cooking time will be 25 minutes. So basically what's going to happen is this is going to, this is going to be, uh, you know, the cabbage, etc. will be here basically in the pot under a medium heat for about 25 minutes tops. It takes about 5-10 minutes to prepare and get everything together. Let's go through that list again. you got a quarter head of cabbage, uh, some red bell pepper. You could actually use a whole one. I've got about a third, of a, a third or a quarter of red bell pepper. A couple of large carrots. You could use more if you'd like. Uh, at least one large onion or two smaller ones, two medium ones. Um, spinach. Uh, I've got salt, oregano, cayenne pepper, um, hoisin sauce, you could use oyster sauce if you'd like or whatever. Actually, you could probably even use ketchup if you wanted. Uh, I'm going to put a dash of wasabi sauce, I've got the olive oil, and then at the tail end just a dash, maybe a teaspoonful of uh, sesame oil for flavor. Okay, I, uh, I covered the bottom of the pot with olive oil, and then I, I shredded up and the uh, cabbage. Uh, the red pepper and the onion. And you can see it's starting to boil, or bubble actually, uh, under high heat. I'm going to lower the heat now to medium. I didn't have to, it's sort of how I want to get started. Um, and what's going to happen, what's going to happen is that you're going to set your timer, you're going to set the kitchen timer for uh, 25 minutes. Okay, so the olive oil, and I can put that in the salt. Add in the salt. I'll add in the oregano and the uh, cayenne pepper uh, as soon as I can put the uh, camera down. Uh, but this is going to basically stay covered for about um, 10 minutes. What's going to happen is that the cabbage has a lot of water in it, and that water is going to come out as the um, as it's being as it's cooking uh, with the red pepper and the carrots and the olive oil, the salt. Like I said, I'm going to put the oregano in and the cayenne pepper. So this is going to basically sweat out for 10 minutes. And what will happen is every few minutes I'll be stirring it just to make sure everything doesn't, nothing sticks at the, at the bottom. Um, then I'm going to add in the, um, then I'm going to add in the uh, two onions. I'm going to add in the uh, hoisin sauce. Again, you could have used oyster sauce or, or even ketchup if you would, if you'd like. Uh, a bit of the wasabi, and then the um, the washed spinach. And then what will happen is that this will continue to cook, and I'll be continuing to stir every few minutes uh, for another 15 minutes after that. So 10 minutes of sweating out. And then after that, I add everything else in, 15 more minutes, and we're done. What this is going to do is it's going to create a nice little side dish, a nice little fried cabbage side dish. Um, regular cabbage costs 49 cents a pound. Uh, red cabbage costs 79 cents a pound. I've tried this recipe with both. Uh, it's not worth buying the red cabbage. Nutritionally, red cabbage has a slightly different profile than regular cabbage, uh, but it doesn't really give you that much more of a health benefit just because it's purple. Um, stick with the regular cabbage. Also, when this thing cooks, if you use red cabbage, 
you won't see the uh, this, you won't see the carrots and the red pepper, the bell pepper, uh, separately. Everything will be all like one color. Uh, it's sort of weird. Uh, you get a better display if you use the regular cabbage. So regular cabbage, 49 cents a pound. Red cabbage, 39 cents a pound. Uh, the economics uh, drives the decision plus the color factor. So we're going to let this um, start in another nine more minutes of this splitting. I'm going to stir it a few times over the next nine minutes. It's been about nine minutes since I started. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the, uh, the cabbage is wet. It's got a lot of water in the cabbage and it's been coming out as, if it, as it's been cooking. So I've been stirring every, every once in a while, every few minutes. I've been stirring. Uh, in about a minute, I'm going to put in everything else. I've got my onions all chopped up, uh, condiments, I've got the spinach. And literally all that's going to happen is this is going to basically go in under the medium heat for another 15 minutes. Uh, stirring maybe, maybe maybe three minutes, just stirring, making sure everything is um, uh, getting heated up equally, that nothing sticks to the bottom of the pot. And again, I'm, uh, typically you might see this done with a frying pan. Uh, I prefer a pot. I like room to maneuver. Uh, I don't want stuff um, falling out or flying out which typically happens when you have a shallow pot or frying pan. Everything's in there. I'm going to let it uh, cook for another 13 minutes. Like I said, total cooking time is about 25 minutes tops. Towards the very end, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of sesame oil just for flavor. Okay, it's been uh, 25 minutes since I first started this. Um, I think I'm going to let it cook for another couple minutes, and then I'm going to uh, take it off the heat and let it sit with the lid half off. There's still a lot of moisture here, um, and you don't want this to get soggy. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to let this cook for a couple more minutes. Uh, I think it's, it's probably done now, but I'm going to let it cook for a couple more minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to take it off to the side, off the heat, and I'm going to put the lid on, but I'm going to leave the lid on uh, with a bit of a crack here so that uh, the moisture, the excess moisture can uh, leave. You don't want this soggy. You don't want this soggy. And uh, it's turning out okay. Uh, I'm going to put a, I haven't put in the uh, sesame oil yet. I put about a tablespoon in there for flavor. And then when I'm, when I'm done, when I'm ready to, prepare, uh, to serve this, I'll put uh, some in a bowl and then I'm going to uh, put some grated cheese on top of it. Here's the fried cabbage dish with some uh, grated cheese on top. Um, it's going to taste fantastic. I didn't have to put the wasabi in there. I put it sort of like uh, I've been doing it lately. Um, you, didn't, you don't have to do that. Actually, it might be better if you didn't put any horseradish or wasabi in there your first time. Uh, but this is basically it. The mo most of the calories are going to come from the oil, the olive oil, and a little bit of sesame oil at the end. Uh, this should be more than, at most, a couple hundred calories. I wouldn't even think that. But uh, but that's it. Fried cabbage, uh, regular cabbage, red pepper, carrots, onions, spinach, um, salt, cayenne pepper, oregano, uh, either hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, or you could put it, you could have put in ketchup. You could have added some kind of horseradish or wasabi sauce, um, and a little bit of sesame oil at the end, which is what I like to do. And that's it. You're done.